Hello, today I want to show you a couple different troubleshooting scenarios that are now possible thanks to our new trace analyzer feature. So let's start with sort of a, a classic example a lot of our customers use to get into our product, which is uh, someone has contacted support or they know a particular order has failed and they have a trace ID. And so they go ahead and they paste in a trace ID and they say, great, let me see the trace. And we can see, oh, there is an error. Now, I'm always interested in errors that are sort of impacting the user, um, as opposed to say like something that's happening with like a backend automated job. Um, and so I can see that there is an error and it's in this payment service, but it's manifesting itself through this URL. So when a user's coming, they started, they were coming through this URL, and then that's where the failure happened. So I wanna understand, okay, sh let's see other traces, other problems that are happening with this URL. So I know what you're thinking, tag spotlight to the rescue. Only no, because the URL is actually not an index tag. Now we have other tags that might be able to help us here that are indexed, but I'm super interested in understanding for this URL, what's going on. And this is where our new trace analyzer feature comes in. To get there, you simply click on the traces view in APM. Now this is the legacy traces view, and while a lot of people found this valuable, it has some shortcomings. The most obvious of which is that it only shows the thousand most recent tags. And so if I'm wanting to understand what's happening to a particular URL, this isn't really gonna help me. But I'm gonna go ahead and click on switch to trace analyzer. Now I'm in the trace analyzer view, and the value has skyrocketed because instead of being limited to 1,000 tags, I can see 20,000 tags. And also, I wanna understand, remember, I wanna dive in and see which particular parts of the front end are having problems. I can go ahead and now group the traces by distinct value, specifically any tag, whether it's indexed or unindexed. So I'm gonna do HTTP URL. So here we go. I've grouped all of these traces by distinct HTTP URL tag value. And we can see that for some of these URLs, sure enough, the error rate is pretty small, right? A thousand traces and less than 1% of those had an error. But we can see this checkout tag, this tag that I was worried about. Yep, it's actually having a ton of problems. Uh, over 50% of the traces have errors. So I can go ahead and say, let's add a filter. So now what I'm doing is I'm looking at exemplar traces that went through the front end and that had this distinct URL value. So I can really dive in. And what's great about this view, and I could get there because of the group by feature, is that now I have not only traces that show me errors, but also traces that are acceptable traces that successfully completed. So now what I can start to do is say, okay, great. Here's a, a trace that succeeded. This is what it's supposed to look like. This is a trace that failed. And now I've got two great ways to compare back and forth and understand what's going on. Now, I wanna actually go back to uh, this group by traces view because not only can I kind of dive in and understand, I can find cohorts that are also having problems. Like I wanted to go ahead and dive in and look at this checkout service, but I also can see that um, this checkout service on another store is having problems, but also this payments API is having problems as well. It's not quite 50% of the traces failing, it's less. So if I were almost sort of prioritizing the workload of what I needed to attack, um, even though this has the most traffic, this actually service is not as bad as this other service. So I could come in here and say, you know, add and filter and start looking at these traces. But with the power of Trace Analyzer, because I can now group by tag value, even for unindexed tags, I can correlate the error rate with different tag values to help me know where to concentrate my effort. And also, because I'm looking at so much data, I can actually have a much bigger view and find more needles in the haystack. And that's just some of the things you can do with our new Trace Analyzer.